Instasnap, good morning, what's going on? We have a little mini lesson coming your way right this instant. It's about investing. Last night, if you're doing the four part video series, by the way, you would have got to the investing lesson. Now, I shared some things in there that uh, might sound romantic, but you're probably thinking, uh, that doesn't sound right. Uh, in particular, I talked about, you don't have to watch the news to invest. You don't need to know what's happening in the market to invest. Many people don't understand time diversification. I know that many, many, many people are holding off investing at the moment because we're in a very high market. We are in a high market. And they think, well, if I start investing now and the market falls over tomorrow, I could lose everything. I could lose the farm. I'll, I'll lose my shirt. Let me show you a little exercise that you can do at home to go and change those beliefs up a little bit. This will change your, what you think about that, right? Uh, I'm going to show you very quickly the power of time diversification when it comes to investing, long-term investing. In the video, I refer to stock index funds. In particular, two stock index funds that track the performance of the S&P 500. So if you go to Yahoo Finance, like I suggested, you can go to the S&P 500, you can download the historical data, and you can go back to 2008 when the last big crash was. Everyone remembers 2008 because everyone watching this is probably alive in 2008. You remember the GFC? You remember what happened? There was blood on the streets, people freaking out. People lost their superannuation 401k accounts. People lost their shirt. People were freaking out, right? How good is that? How good is that when I go into a fear state, I manifest something that gives me fear straight away. Instant manifestation, whoa, golly gosh. So here's something that you might wanna do. Go and download the data. I went from June 2007, which was the peak of the market, just before the GFC. And uh, this is what it looks like. You can make your own chart within uh, Google Drive or Excel. Now, the reason you wanna do your own is because looking at mine here through Instagram or, or going onto your Yahoo and looking at their chart, I mean, that's one thing, but when you get the raw data and you put the chart in yourself, you feel more connected to the numbers, right? And you can do some cool things that are eye-opening. So this is a daily chart of the S&P 500. That there is right at the start of the GFC. That is the GFC, and this is the recovery. This is 2017 at the right of the chart. This is the monthly chart. The blue line is the same as the daily, obviously. It's just the monthly data. And the reason I did the monthly chart is because when you do a monthly chart, you can do time diversification. So I've just put here $1,000, assuming that you just buy the stock market to the tune of $1,000 every month. And then you have all the months and you have the close prices. And based on how much you're gonna contribute out of your savings every month, you can then figure out how many units you can buy based on the close price, how many you own in total, they keep accumulating over time, your average purchase price and therefore your profit. Make sense? So on the monthly chart here, the blue price is the S&P 500. That is the performance of the stock market. This little dip down, that's the GFC. The red line is my average purchase price if I bought $1,000 worth of stocks every month. So can you see that during the GFC there, the red line dips down, it aims down because the market's falling over. And every month the market's cheaper, which means I can buy more units, which means my average purchase price is less. Then when the market recovers, look, becomes more expensive. So your $1,000 monthly contribution buys less units every month. Therefore, your average purchase price doesn't rally up, doesn't rally up to the tune that the market does. It stays below. That there is how you can buy the market over time. Most people here know Warren Buffett, wealthiest investor on the planet. Well, his mentor was a guy by the name of Benjamin Graham. He wrote a book called The Intelligent Investor. And in the book, he says, buy your stocks like groceries, not like perfume. Because how do we buy perfume? We go down to the shop and we look around, we only buy it once a year, or maybe every once every two or three years when the thing runs out and we smell and choose and pick and we try and get the best one. How do we buy groceries? Every freaking week, on the day, every day. Welcome to time diversification. Time diversification is also known as dollar cost averaging and that's how to buy stocks. If you're doing long-term investing, that's how you buy the freaking stocks. You use time diversification. Let me show you something cool. Remember, this data was based on someone starting and investing just before the crash, just before the global financial crisis. Look at this. And at the start, guess what? That's his profit. He's making a loss. For the first year or two, he's making a loss. Now, if he had a short time horizon and short time and space horizon in the mind and wanted to get rich tomorrow and he was making a loss straight away, can you see he would freak out, sell the stocks at the bottom, never get back in? That's what most people do. They lose their shirt that way. But if he's got a long-term vision and he's investing for the long-term, the serious long-term, look what happens. As the market falls over, he can buy more and more and more. As the market's cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and there's blood on the streets and he's buying in. And over time, look at his profit. 
This is the profit curve that you would have achieved if you started investing before the global financial crisis. The, literally the worst time to start investing in the history of the markets, this still would have been your profit curve. Do you get, do you get the power of this? Now, this will bake your noodle because I also uh, did a little sheet here after the crash because guess what? If you were a genius and you're a timing god, a master, and you waited and waited and waited until the bottom of the market in February of 2009, this is your profit. And this is impressive because look, you got into the bottom, you never went into loss. You trickled around here, break even a little bit, but ultimately you got a profit. Now, here's the crazy shit. Look at the profit. Less than $80,000. And before the crash, if you started investing before the global financial crisis, you have a little bit of chop around here at the start, but your profit is 90,000, over 90,000 today. You made more money if you started investing before the crash. Because when it comes to long-term investing, it's not about timing the market. It's about the time in the market. You've heard the, you've heard the quote. It's about the time in the market when you're talking long-term, but most people don't think long-term. Most people are in immediate gratification, immediate pleasures. How can I get rich by fucking tomorrow? And then, and they, because they have this mindset, because they're chasing the quick fix, the unicorns, to get rich quick, they'll never get there. They won't do this. And if they do, they'll freak out, they'll get emotional, and they'll sell at the bottom. So if this is new to you, and you're not an infinite prosperity student of mine, and you're not investing, and you haven't watched the four-part video series, goodness me, swipe up now and go and watch the four-part video series. It's a 75-minute video course that I have on this topic, it's free, go and watch it. And if you're here on planet Earth to do something more than be mediocre and live, a, live in the rat race until you're 65, until you're ready to drop dead, if you're here for more and you wanna get some meat in the game, you wanna start investing, go and get an Infinite Prosperity membership. It's a couple hundred bucks for life. Because every day that you wait, that you're not investing, that you don't have meat in the game, me and my students, are getting more wealthier, we're becoming more financially independent, and you're not starting, you're not getting to the point, you're not getting to it. So go and take action. This time diversification, long-term investment strategy can be all automated, it's all automatic. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to time, you don't have to watch the news, it's, it's, you can automate it. When you combine that with trading, forget it, you're done. Doing what I showed you here this morning and then adding trading onto it as well, is the most powerful money magnification strategy that I know. And we're the only people teaching it. There's a heap of trading educators. There's a heap of investment educators. But I don't know anyone besides us who's teaching both. And it gets better than that. Because if you can go and create passive and semi-passive income in the form of providing a product or a service and helping other people and generating income and then using the profit to go and invest and to go and trade. This, what I've just explained, are my three biggest income streams. That's what I do. I have a product and a service. I sell it. I have an income from that. I take a little bit of that income and I go and invest it. I take a little bit of that. I go and trade it. I do all three. And that's how I went from being a worker to not being one. So if you want to watch me explain the three income streams in detail, go and watch the video course. Swipe up. It's a free video course. I explain all three income streams. I explain what I did to go from there to get to here. More importantly, I explain specifically how you can do exactly the same.